This is a 1970s, early 70s um, Ford 302 V8 out of a Mustang. At least that's what the uh, numbers say. Um, here I'm replacing the front main seal. I've already removed the front main seal. In order to do this, you have to take off the timing cover. Um, it's aluminum. It's a front main seal. It goes on the inside here. So This is all cleaned up. Use your scraper and the wire brush to go ahead and clean that up. So it's nice and smooth and perfect. Take one of these, just scrape it out. Nice and easy, try not to gouge it. So we'll pop that back on and uh, take some more pictures. All this is cleaned up, gonna put on a new oil pan gasket as well. Uh, cleaned up and brushed off. We're going to clean this surface, and that's the back of the water pump. So get it all cleaned up and start putting it back together. Okay, when you're installing the front main seal, the new one, you're going to put it where the uh, you can see the rubber spring there, the metal spring and the rubber gasket, like this on the inside okay this is the outside going towards the uh, pulleys this is the inside towards the timing chain just put a little bit of sealer in there pop this in put something behind it to support it you don't want to break this off and just gently tap around here don't bend it Okay, it's a little harder than it looks to get this thing in there uh, properly. So what I've done is remove the uh, wire ring, otherwise you can smash it like this. Have to go get a new seal. Take, take that wire ring out, the spring in there, and then take this. This one is a size 46 from Harbor Freight. Came with this set setup here. Pretty nice sometimes. Fits perfectly in there. And then go ahead and tap around here with the hammer. And it seats in there perfect. So again, get like a little one by two by and support this under here while you're tapping. So good luck. Okay, here's the new gasket. I'm just gonna pop in there like this. I'll probably put it on the other side, the other piece first. Um, put a couple of bolts through there just to hold it in place and then pop it right on the front here. Tighten up all the bolts and torque them down. Okay, we have the water pump on and the fuel pump. Got the sealer in between both. Now we're going to go ahead and put some grease inside here so that way when we slip the pulley on uh, it, it'll slide right into the uh, new rubber gasket um, without tearing it. So, so that's what's next.